will discuss the chapter learn to use microsoft word 2010 see formatting when we change the appearance of the text such as font size and color it is termed as formatting yes when we change by default various type of text appears on our uh, screen when we type but if you want to change make it attractive to others then what the function or whatever the process we do is known as formatting okay so when we have to format our text we have to change its font or we have to make changes in its size or we can make changes in its color this makes our document appear attractive and good then to change or to complete the work of formatting we have a tool that is the font group on home tab is used to format text okay which group font group on home tab is used to format the text so let us see what is our font group see you can see this group in your home tab yes all of you might have seen it previously also see here how to change font this is given our font is given here and our size is also given here if you want to change size of your text and your color is also given here okay and various other features are there also by which you will study later okay see here bold italics underline okay these all things are to format text these all icons help you to format your text and make it beautiful let us study further now have to follow certain steps but to make any changes to your text the first and foremost step will be to select your text without selecting no editing and no formatting can be done you should always remember that see you can see here on the screen we have our home tab and font type button yes we have also selected our text here all of you can see yes when we have selected our text we can choose our font type from our font type button as we will click on this small button various types of fonts will appear in front of us see these are the various type of fonts that are there in word this is a list of various fonts from these fonts you can select whichever type of font you need for your selected text okay as you select that font the text will appear in the same font see here you have selected the font type mv and see the change in your text as compared to the other text here can you see yes this is the way we can change the font of our text understood now let us move to our next topic changing font size also you can change font size of your text see here you have seen the selected font size we have selected here font size 16 all of you can see yes and see our text material has increased its size as compared to the other text okay so here is a small drop down arrow with our size button when we click on that size button various type of size available that is font size 8 9 10 11 12 14 16 okay these are available and you can select the size you want and as you select the size you want the selected text appears in the same way color also how you will change the font color again do you remember what i have told yes 
before changing the font color you have to select the te text without selecting the text no changes will be made but this thing so how you can change the font color you have to just click on the a and on the drop down see you can see that a is underlined by the red color yes this indicates the color of your text to make the text bold follow the given steps step 1 select the text you want to make bold step 2 click the home tab step 3 click bold from the font group the text becomes bold to make the text italic follow the given steps step 1 Select the text you want to make italic. Step 2. Click the Home tab. Step 3. Click Italic. From the font group, the text gets italic. To underline the text, follow the given steps. Step 1. Select the text you want to underline. Step 2. Click the Home tab. Step 3. Click Underline. From the font group, the text gets underlined. The size of letter or character is called font size. The steps to change the font size are First, select the text. Click on the home tab. Click the drop down list on the font size from the font group. Choose the font size from the list and click it to apply. To change the font style of the text, click the home tab, click the drop down list arrow on the font from the font group and choose the font type from the list and click it apply. Select the text whose color you wish to change. Step 2. Click on the font color drop down menu arrow in the font group on the home tab. The font color menu will appear. Step 3. Move the mouse pointer over the various font colors. Step 4. Select and click on the font color you wish to use. The font color will change in the document. The text means placing a colored rectangle over it. To highlight the text, select the text to highlight, click home tab, click the drop down list on the text highlight color from the font group. A color palette appears. Choose the required color from the palette. Who makes a list of students in your class. The librarian makes lists of books in the library. Your mother makes a list of items to be bought from the market. Such lists can have numbers or bullets. A bullet is a dot or other symbol that is placed before the text to make a list attractive. Numbers and bullets make lists look attractive. List with bullet. Kinds of noun. Common noun. Proper noun. Collective noun. List with numbers. Kinds of noun. 1. Common noun. 2. Proper noun. 3. Collective noun. Numbering. Bullet. Numbered or bulleted lists can be created quickly and easily in Microsoft Word. Creating lists with number. Simran is making a list of different types of sentences. She has not numbered her list. Let us help her to insert numbers to it. To create numbered lists, follow the given steps. Step 1. Type the list to which you want to add numbers and select them. Step 2. Click the Home tab. Step 3. Click the drop-down list arrow on Numbering button in the Paragraph group. Step 4. Select the list style of your choice. The list is numbered. Word 2013 or 2016 updates. You can use Numbering command from the Paragraph group of Home or Home tab to create a numbered list in Word 2013 or 2016. 
creating lists with bullets. Now, Simran wants to make her list attractive. Help her to insert bullets to the list. To create bulleted list, follow the given steps. Step 1. Type the list to which you want to add bullets and select them. Step 2. Click the Home tab. Step 3. Click on the drop-down list arrow on Bullets button in the Paragraph group. Step 4. Select the bullet of your choice. The list is bulleted. Word 2013 or 2016 updates. You can use bullets command from the paragraph group of home or home tab to create a bulleted list in applying borders. You can apply different types of borders to your text. This option places lines around the text. To add border around the text, follow the given steps. Step 1. Select the text. Step 2. Click the home tab. Step 3. Click the drop-down list, arrow on borders from the paragraph group. Step 4. Select the borders and shading option. The borders and shading dialog box appears. Step 5. Select box from the settings section. Step 6. Choose the style, color and width of the border. Step 7. Click OK button. Word 2013 or 2016 updates. You can use Home or Home tab, then Borders from the Paragraph group and select Borders and Shading option to add border around the text in Word 2013 or 2016. Mini Toolbar The Mini Toolbar contains commonly used formatting commands of the Home tab. It appears when you select the text in the document area. It is used to make changes in your document quickly. To use the mini toolbar, follow the given steps. Step 1. Select the text. A transparent mini toolbar appears. Step 2. Move the mouse over the toolbar and select the appropriate commands. If you do not use the mini toolbar, it disappears. Undo, redo. Undo is used to cancel a command given earlier. To undo, click the undo button on the quick access toolbar. Redo command is used the action of undo. To redo, click the redo button on the quick access toolbar. Word 2013 or 2016 updates. You can use Quick Access Toolbar to undo or redo in Word 2013 or 2000. Spelling and Grammar MS Word checks spelling and grammar automatically as you type. It displays wavy red underlines to indicate possible spelling errors and wavy green underlines to indicate possible grammatical errors. To correct the spelling errors, right-click on the word with a wavy red or green underline and then select the alternative word or the spelling you want. Spellings and grammar all at once using spelling and grammar dialog box. To check spelling and grammar using the dialog box, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click the review tab on the ribbon. Step 2. Click spelling and grammar from the proofing group. The spelling and grammar dialog box appears with the wrong spelling highlighted in red and with a list of suggestions. Choose the required word from the list and click on change button. Word 2013 or 2016 updates. You can use spelling and grammar command from the proofing group of review or review tab to check spelling and grammar in Word 2013 or 2016. Do you know autocorrect button in spelling and grammar dialog box automatically corrects spellings as you type without having to confirm each correction. For example, if you type definitely wrongly spelled and then type a space or other punctuation, 
Autocorrect automatically replaces it with definitely correctly spelled. Tables. A table is made up of rows and columns. The intersection of rows and columns create boxes called cells. Tables are often used to organize and present information. Remember, a table may have one or more cells. Cells refer to the boxes formed by the intersection of rows and columns. Inserting tables. To insert a table in MS Word, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click the Insert tab. Step 2. Click the table from the table group. Step 3. Select the number of columns and rows by dragging the mouse over the small boxes. This inserts a table with the specified number of columns and rows. The cursor is placed in the first cell. You can enter text in the cells. I hope that each and every concept is clear to you. But still, if you are facing any type of problem or doubt, you can message me. Okay?